Josh, welcome to Fan Questions. You're, uh, you're the man in the moment at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, having scored your, your cheeky back heel on Tuesday, you must have been very pleased about that. Yeah, yeah, nice little finish at the front post. So, take them cards, don't they? Be taken. Definitely. Um, yeah, so I put the put the request out for some questions the other day and, and got plenty of responses, as you can imagine. Some interesting ones. Yeah. Um, but let's get straight into it. So, Silfen wants to know. Do you think Wimbledon have the best fans in the league? Yeah, great fan base. Yeah. What, what do you think? What have you like sort of found about them so far? Have you had any dealings? Have you met them like face to face much? Or? Um, yeah, I've spoken to a few fans like after games, for example, before games, like when I'm coming into the stadium and stuff. Nice one. All positive and good people, so. Good stuff. Well, exactly. You do something wrong if they're not being nice to you. <laughs> there you go, yeah. <laughs> um, Someone else says, what's your targets for the season? Goals wise, my targets get around the 20 mark, that'd be nice. That's normally, you'll be up there if you get 20 goals with your striker, so. Hmm. Matt Rowley says, who do you think are the best three players in the team? Oh, that's a tough question, man. There's some good players. Yeah. Um, best three players? Technically, Paris is up there. With the ball it's finished. It's not bad, isn't it? Good yeah. player, technically, yeah. Um, what else we got? Oh, it's a tough question, that. Um, Coombsy's good. I like playing with Coombsy, dropping in, getting on the ball off turn. He'll always find a pass as well. Mm. Um, Chizzy as well, for me, technically. Yeah. Chizzy's good. It's yeah. With the ball it's finished. Pretty good. Very good, lads. Uh, yeah. How good is it to have a strike partner like NYC next year? Yeah. Compliment each other well, don't we? So it's always good to have him alongside me, mm. and I'm enjoying it, enjoying yeah. the football with him. Do you feel like it's a? Is there like a little competition between you guys? See who gets the most goals? Yeah, of course there is. We're both on three at the minute, aren't we? So, so we'll see. We'll see. It's always good to have healthy competition, pushing yeah. each other all the time. So nice. A, a non-football related one. Uh, ben wants to know what shampoo do you use? Uh, as I want to get my man blood looking as good as yours. <laughs> to be fair, I knew a hair question would come off as soon as I see it. Um, I don't actually have a, a preference. Whatever my girlfriend has in the house, I use her shampoo. So. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I bet she's the one buying it as well. That's it, yeah. She buys it, I use it. So. Brilliant. Um, person called The H asks, what team did you support when you were growing up and why? Um, I support Spurs. Growing up um, around North London, Family sports players, it's always been my team, so yeah, Tottenham. Do you prefer the, the new stadium to their old stadium? I always find that interesting. Yeah, I've been I've been to both. One hour lane, the atmosphere for me was much better than the new one. Hmm. But the new stadium I've done like the tour and that with my family. It's a good stadium. It's no prizes for, for guessing who you'd like to draw in the cup then later this season. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um nice. what is the best ever kit you've owned or worn? I really like the orange Barcelona kit back in the day when I think Messi broke the yeah. goal scoring records. That kit there, I mm. think that, that was a proper good more, kit. More colourful and eye catching more the back. More colourful eye catching, I had Messi on the back as well. So. Mm. Oh, this is an interesting one. What's the best thing you've witnessed on an away day? Away day? Yeah. As in? As in from the fans, I'm, I'm guessing. From the fans. Like, what's been the most crazy sort of atmosphere you've had in an away game or? Something this, crazy you've seen in the crowd or? What, this season or any season? Any season. Crowd. To be fair, when I was at Charlton, I was playing against Millwall away, and that was a bit of a, that was tasty. That was a crazy uh, yeah. the atmosphere. And like after the game, we got locked in the stadium for about an hour. We weren't allowed to leave because it was all kicking off. Yeah. yeah. That's the craziest thing I've seen in the way there. Yeah, they're an interesting bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, Millwall, yeah. Um, George says, what's one thing you'd like to achieve with Wimbledon? Oh, promotion. That's what you want, isn't it? Starting the season as well. Yeah. Uh, Latitude on Twitch says, who is your idol and do you try to implement their play in yours? So, my idol, to be fair, Harry Kane. Good choice. Baseball Spurs, yeah, good striker as well, one of the best in the world for me. Um, and I like to watch him before I play. Like on, a, on a Friday night, I watch a bit of Harry Kane, which is, which is stuff and gives me a bit of inspiration. So. Do you see yourself as similar? I mean, you do drop deep occasionally during games. Um, I think I'm 
obviously technically Harry Kane's ridiculous. So you'll get there, mate. You'll get there. Yeah, that's it. So hopefully, that's that's the goal. Yeah. But he's the best striker. You'd want to try and mould yourself around him, I guess. Mm. Probably answers the next question. Um, one was at the Dream Podcast. One know if you could pick any striker to play with, who would it be? Him. Harry Kane. <laughs> but don't you think you're too similar? Like maybe you want someone like Messi just behind you. I don't or... know. I think like I'm quite quick. So I yeah. think if Harry Kane's dropping in the pocket and I'm in behind, That's I true. think I get myself a few goals, especially with his final pass. Yeah, no. So yeah, he's basically turned into a playmaker the last few years. Yeah, anyway, he does both, doesn't he? So yeah. Um, Tall Mark wants to know. How is JJ as Wimbledon manager different to JJ as Charlton manager? So I think he's saying, has he sort of changed or have you noticed anything different? Or no, not, not really. Like it's always been, it's the same. It's the same messages, standards, stuff like that. Like he's very, he's very on it when it comes to standards and keeping the dressing room good, and like yeah. keeping a good group, and that's what you want in your manager. Yeah. And another another question from Mark: <laughs> Red sauce or brown sauce in your sausage sandwich? Sausage sandwich. Go with red sauce. Nice, I like it. Um, <laughs> Min Mock wants to know: Are you related to Gareth Bale? I'm guessing he's saying you look a bit <laughs> like him. Yeah, I've had that shout a few times. To be fair, it's the man bun. That or Andy Carroll. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. No, I mean to be fair, the man bun is in fashion nowadays. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah. He says. Um, he also says, will you lose your football skills if you cut your hair? Yeah, the power's in the ponytail. That's Have it. you ever had it short, or has it always been long? No, I shaved it off. Um, I went bald in lockdown, and I've grown it ever since then. Wow. So yeah, that's two and a half years now. In interesting growing. project for lockdown then. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, Hudlin's massive. Don't ask about his name, he always comes up. <laughs> um, why are Wimbledon the best team in the EFL for you? We just saw the stadium, the fans, the way we're playing. Nice. Take us up there. Yeah. And who's the best player you've played with slash against? Start with start with. Start with with. with. Yeah. Um, Connor Gola for me. Mm. He's like yeah, good player. When he was on loan at Charlton, you could yeah. tell you could tell he was going to. Got a few goals when he was with you. Yeah, kind of a few there. goals. Yeah. Like, he'd run the most on the pitch every game, and he'd still probably provide the most. He was top notch. Um, against, played Arsenal in a friendly and uh, Lacazette really stuck, like, stuck out, he scored a couple of goals, he was unplayable that day. Mm. So I'd say Laka. Yeah. Um, Tom wants to know, Messi or Ronaldo? <laughs> I hate that question, you know. I hate it. It's, it's one of them ones. People can't just like both, right? right? No, no, I, I just think they're both in the league of their own. I like Ronaldo from like the goal scoring, like complete striker machine, like scores headers, scores volleys, scores everything. But technically Messi's just on a different yeah. on a different playing field, isn't he? So Exactly. I completely agree. Yeah. Uh, Connor Sheridan says, Do you have crisps in or out of your sandwich? Oh, Chris sandwich is nice as a kid, I'll be honest. I mm. like a crisp body. Yeah. Don't mind that. Absolutely, and then some more uh, interesting ones from Tim Pro, but oh. would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Bizarre question. Horse-sized duck, you know? That scares me, that, you know? It's a scary thought. Yeah. I think a hundred duck-sized horses, I think. Yeah. I'd rather go for that. I suppose, I suppose you could get away from them quicker. Yeah, I mean, you are quicker. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And that, how would you react if you transformed into an orangutan? An orangutan? <laughs> Yes. How, how does anyone react being transformed to that? Honestly, I don't know where they get these questions from. That, yeah. 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 I to answer that, yeah. <laughs> um, and then lastly, is there any butter that's better than Lurpak? Nah, Lurpak, I use Lurpak as well, so it's a good choice. Um, just seeing if there's a few more. Why are you so good? <laughs> well, that's a compliment, so I'll take that. Yeah. Josh, it's been a great sport. Thank you, Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers.